In this video, I try to put together a very simple and scalable simplified web control. Um, the way I try to do it is it will keep circling through or cycling through a stage. And if there is a demand, it extends it. But if there is no, it cuts it short and goes to the next one. What you can do is basically you can adopt this in your model and then you can as you can just change it according to the number of stages or phases you have um, and it should be just a simple copy pasting and just create recreating what i will describe in this video so what i have where i start is a intersection and i have a stage for each movement a b c d I will place a detector and then I will uh, I only place one detector to keep things simple so it will be, it won't be perfect but it should work and it should be very easy for you to replicate so if you have just three approaches you will just use three of them if you have five or six or whatever you can just keep uh, adding more and more and that should be very easy so first with the naming convention go to detectors and just add the same port number for um, all approaches you have for one stage so this is one that is one let me just add the port number there so you can see one one this will be two two Again, the length of the detector should be somewhere around two, three meters, and it should be relatively close to the stop uh, or the signal head. So that is two. This is going to be three because this is C. So you just go A1, B2, C3, and D4. Okay. So there, there we are. So let's start from here. This is simple. You can you can follow it if you uh, don't have any experience with VSOP. I just add um, some vehicle. Oh, there is already some vehicle input there. Okay, let's just use that. And now the poor file. So what we are going to do here is you just create these blocks. Just basically copy paste what I have here. Just these uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks, signal group, stages, starting stage, interstage, and end. You recreate these, you add these default settings here, and let's just add all the signal groups we have. So we represent each stage with a signal group. So we have four in this model. So D is four, C is three. So A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four stages we will keep things simple so one stage going one so in stage one a is green all the others are red so i just basically let me copy paste it three more times so this is two three four and in the next one b will be green and a will be red here C and um, and A is red, D and A is red. So again, A, B, C, D is red. So again, B is red, then C is red, then D is red. Sorry, green. B is green, C is green, D is green. Starting stage is stage one. You don't change anything there and interstage so this one will assume a minimum green time of six second and assume a six second intergreen so i assume that this is the same for all between all movements or conflicts 
So we are just going to copy paste basically this a couple of times. So what we have is we go from stage one to two, we will go from two to three, from three to four, and from four back to one. And that's it. We just keep cycling through. So one to two, this is going to be two to three. This is the second. This is the third. This is going to be three to four. This is the fourth. Four to one. And here, what changes? So what changes? A changes to red. A changes to red. So that's fine. So the first row is always what changes to red, and the second is what changes to green. So in the first one, A goes green, B replaces it, and it becomes green. You can see, in stage one, A is green, B is red. Then B is red, A is... Sorry, B is green, A is red. <laughs> so when we go from 2 to 3, so here, we just replace these. So what goes red? B goes red. And what gets green? C. Because B becomes red from green, and C becomes green from red. Then in the Next one, since C was green, so it's C here, then D. You can just follow A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. So you just cycle basically through. This is very simple. Save it. I already loaded up the files um, into the if you can see the supply files are already there. Let's have a look at the Biswap itself. So start, stop, and in between, we just go very simple. You just create first one. This is same for everything. You put us in the interstage active and just in. Um, paste a few empty rows and now we can do uh, the number of inters uh, sorry not <laughs> we just do the uh, stage actives and we have stage one so basically what you do at any interstage active here in the first and then we will just keep adding as many stage actives as many stages we have in this case we have four so we just copy paste it replace one with two two with three three with four let's add an empty row here between them Okay, and now here we just basically check um, since we since our interstage already includes six second minimum green time. So after C goes to green or B goes to green, the interstage still doesn't allow anything to happen. So the six second is in. So we only need to check for demand. So what we do. We check for headway on detector one because st stage one is detector one. Stage one is detector one. Stage two is detector two. Stage three is detector three. And here I just add is headway greater than three or I can just add gap huh. oh I can't see the so I created a 
parameter here gap 3 so if it is greater than 3 second then that means there is no demand or the demand is not uh, great enough so I just send it to the um, and yeah before we do that we actually need to check for maximum green and just let's add another row uh, let's just think so we need to check maximum green we only go to the right if the maximum green is over so either one of them so it's gonna be an or i think <laughs> that is the green and it's one so stage one signal had one everything one stage one 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 i just add another bracket okay so if the headway on that detector is over is more than three so there is no demand or t green is the green time is greater than max green or 60 second or one minute you can again just change this here then we need to skip that phase and go to the next sorry we need to stop that um, stage and go to the next one and what we do is we just we just put an interstage here from stage one, two, and that's it. Uh, let me bring like that. It looks nicer. Oh, it is so difficult, I can't delete it easily. Okay, and if it is not true, if there is still gap, um, or the maximum green is is within the sorry the T green is within that, so that means let's just do a test here. So if headway is two, so it is zero. This is false, or or let's put it four so if this is over so this is four i think it should be fine and then i just put this out there that's it and what now we do we just basically copy this and paste it there well we can't paste it unfortunately because it would move everything away so i just recreate it <laughs> and just copy And I just copy this to here. You copy that to here. And what you do is just replace one with two. This goes from two to three. And you make the lines connected. Oh. so user friendly okay now we just basically do the same so one here one here one here one here paste it paste it okay we just make the same update so it stage three so we put three sorry four this is four to one this is three to four so just basically increase every number
remove those rows there you are and now what we do is we just give it a ride let's see if it works okay let's see what happens oh yeah so the error I got is just that I still had that there. So I just quickly delete it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's run it again. Let's make it uh, maybe smaller. Oh, sorry, slower. So when the demand was over there, it stopped it. Now that goes. The demand got uh, louder, so that stopped. And that should stop there again. Yeah. Okay, there is a minimum green violation. It's just because I set up some inter minimum green, but we can just delete that. Okay, let's just do a double check here again. Okay, I think it should be fine. Let me just remove the um, the demand from one side so we can see what happens. So it only should call this for a couple of seconds and then it should go to red. Just a couple of seconds and it goes red. So there you have it. This is a very simple one. As you can see, it is very, <laughs> well, not the smartest one, let's put it that way, but it works. It does the job. It can't skip phases, it just basically cycles through E and each. But it works, it does the job. So I think it is good if you can just, you know, recreate this in your own. And then you can start tweaking it. You can change the intergreen time for each stage transition. You can start adding more or less stages. Or here, you know, you can... Uh, introduce maybe different gap for minor roads and uh, major roads and then here have another like you know gap major or something with a different value and just ex uh, replace that here or something like that but i think this should help you to start somewhere you know to understand how it works and then slowly you can change always one value and then see how it do, how it works or how it doesn't work or what are your error messages and stuff like that. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. That would help the channel to grow.